before we get into the auction. Okay. Couple things tonight. One, all bids are in even dollar amounts. Oh. Two hundred, four hundred. One thousand two hundred dollars. We'll take. Okay, we'll round that up. Hi. Right. Okay. So all the dollar amounts. So if you get into a bidding war, yeah, you can go up a dollar at a time. Uh, but uh, no, no pennies, no cents. Of course, no cents may be a problem. Okay, number one. Number two, if I have multiples on an item, what I am going to do to speed things up, I am going to run the bid up. I'll ask who wants it for, say, $5 if I have two items. If I've got 10 hands up, I'm going to run the price up. And I'm just going to run the price up and down until I've got the number of hands up that I have items to sell. <coughs> okay, I'm not going to uh, do each one separately, with the exception of the Estes Mystery Boxes. Okay, the Estes Mystery Boxes, the rule is you cannot open the box until the auction is over. <laughs> I'll let you shake the box, but... No, all right. The, 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 okay, all right. We will close the silent auction ten minutes after the main auction, because a lot of you will be settling up your bills and the like anyway. Okay, uh, when you win something, please announce your name. Uh, Jennifer is not as familiar with your names as I am, and of course, I my age, I've forgotten a lot of them. <laughs> So please identify yourself uh, when you win the bid. Let's see, what else do I have here? I'm going to be bundling some items. And I'm going to let Jennifer talk about the mechanism as far as payment. Okay. So uh, first preference, cash. Second preference, if you have a PayPal account, um, let us know and we'll just make arrangements to have you uh, charge it on whatever you want to your bank account or credit card through PayPal. In the absence of those two alternatives, um, we will be taking credit card numbers. Um, and they will be very secure. I will take very good care with them and make sure that they do not get dumped anywhere. On <coughs> so, but this is a personal home computer. It's not like Where? anybody should be careful. All right? Okay, and firstborns, arms and legs oh, are not checks. acceptable forms of payment. But checks are okay too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with that, let's start the thing. let's start off big. Oh, a mystery box. Mystery box. That's just mystery box. Think of this as a designer special on steroids. <laughs> I bought one of these years now. In full disclosure, I do know what's in here, kind of, because some of them uh, had some tape seams that opened in shipment. So I did repack one of them completely and fix some seams. So I will not bid at question. all on these. Question. How many mystery boxes from Estes do you have? Six. 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 Thank you. And the price will go up with each one. So of bid course. early and bid high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's open the bid at, at 20. Who has, who's who's going to me 20? I got 20 in the back. Do I have 25? Uh, all right, do I have 30? We got 30, 35. Boy, let's go 45. 50. <laughs> 55. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's 60. really good stuff. 55, you're the only one standing. I'll go 55, Jim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. But not yet. Okay. <laughs> Later. Let's start off with see what else we got in here. All right, let's just start with the pedestrian. That's this mean machine. And this is one of the older ones, the engine only. What, uh, what are you asking? Mean machine. Ah. I'll start it off with five dollars. Who gives me five dollars? I got Jonathan in the back for five. Six? I got six here. Seven? There's eight bucks worth of BT60 at least. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have seven. Seven? Okay, I got six. I'm going six once, six twice. Sold six dollars. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah. 
Yeah. It'll be all uploaded tonight. Yeah, I put you on the tap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury and Gemini capsules. Okay. Put your hands up if you're interested in these for three bucks a piece. What scale? Uh, what scale? Uh, 148. Okay. Three bucks. How about five bucks a piece? Six. Seven. Ten. <laughs> fifteen. Who's got their hands up for fifteen? All right, I'll bring it down. To, okay, I got Jonathan. You in or out? I got three people here for fifteen. I got three kids sold. I think I said fifteen, right? So go ahead and identify yourselves. <laughs> That was the Gemini Mercury bucket, right? Yeah, Dale Green. Dale Green. For how much? Fifteen. Fifteen. I think one was free. Yes. Thank you. Ted? Got it? Got it. Okay. For those of you who are interested in joining the Estes Aerospace Club, Yay. I mean, look at the happy person on the front. This is joy and rocketry. Boy, I hope not. <laughs> so this is joy and rocketry. You can have joy and rocketry for five dollars. Just give me five dollars for this. I saw John first, so I have five. I hear six. Nah. Five? You got five. I got, okay, six in the back. Seven? Ten. Ten. Eleven? Anybody got eleven? I got eleven in the back. Twelve? Twelve? I got fifteen in the front uh, with Roy. Sixteen? Sixteen? I got fifteen. Fifteen going once, twice, sold. Roy, I'm going to screw this Okay, I've been seeing these flies on the range that converted for rocket there. This is courtesy of Mr. Caplo. So I'm going to start this at two dollars. It's a conversion. I got two dollars. Do I have three? I've got three for Chris. Do I have four? I've got four. Do I have five? Do I have six? I've got six. Do I have seven? I got seven from Chris. You're picking on the young lady here. Eight? Do I have eight from anybody? I got seven to uh, Chris. I got eight. Do I hear nine? Do I hear nine? I got eight going once, twice, sold. Got it. D12, that baby. E6. All right, I got an oldie. That's somewhat oldie. This is a Cox X15. Watch your flag. Watch your flag. <laughs> This should bring big dollars because I've learned in antiques if it's got patina that adds to the value. This has patina. <laughs> but I'll be reasonable to start. Ralph Nader wrote the book Unsafe at Any Speed about that rock. <laughs> so I'm going to start at 10. Who wants a piece of history for 10? Cox? I've got Linnell for 10. Uh, here, 11. Want to have 11? I've got 11 for Chris. How about 12? I got 12 for Linnell. Do I hear 13? I've got 12 going once. Going, I got 20 from Mr. Beach. Do I have 21? I got 20 from Mr. Beach. I got 20 going once, 20 going twice. Sold $20. Tom Beach. Got some books from a gentleman named Alway. But not me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the gentleman or you're not Alway? He said you're not the gentleman. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I've got Rockets of the World. Which one? Third. Third edition, Rockets of the World. I've got the 99 supplements. It's a bundle. Alway bus bundle? Yeah. Which one is it? Bundle one? The, uh, We're selling it one. All right, we'll still call it one. Yeah. I've got 2,000 supplements. I've got 2,002 supplements. 
and 2004 supplement. So I'll start it with $20. Give me $20 for the all way uh, rocket to the roll. Got 20 up front here. Well, how about 25? Here 25? I got 25 in the back. Do I hear 26? 26. I got 25 in the back. I got 26 up front. Do I have 27? 27. I got 26 in the front. I got 27 in the back. Okay, do I have 28? Do I have 28? Got 27 in the back. Come on, Sean. Okay, I got 28. How about 28? I got 27 in the back. I'm going to let 27 go once, 27 go twice, sold for 27. Come on up here and claim your books. All right, let's do another bundle. Star Wars coming out. I've got three 15 year editions of R2-D2. So, how many people are willing to give me 25 for the kit? Oh, come on. This is Star Wars. In 30 years, this will be worth a fortune. Okay. It won't be dead. How about 15? How many people give me 15 for the kids? I got two. All right, how many people will give me 14 for the kids? 13. I got three people sold, $13. Come on up and uh, grab a kid and tell Jennifer who you are. She's bringing back a load, isn't she? He is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Got a leather bound book here. Oh, it's the vital. history of rocketry and space travel. Uh -oh. The author of the book is Frederick I. Ordway III. That's a good book. Okay, what year is it? Good book. What year? Boy, we got people in play here. It's about 1966. This is years. 1966. Copyright 1966 by Werner von Braun. Heard of that guy? Wow. So, Frederick I. Ordway and Harry H. K. Lang. So, let's start off with $10. We'll give me $10 for the book. Got a bunch of people there. How about 15? 30. I got 30. 50. 50. Yeah. Do I hear 55? Do I hear 60? Do I hear 65? 70. Got 70 from Chris. Do I hear 75? 75. 80. I got 80. 90. 100. I got 100. 105. 105. Hmm? 110. I got 110 for the book. Okay, do I hear 115? I've got 115 for the book. 120. 120. Do I hear 125? Got 125. Do I hear 130? Is that Corinthian leather? I got 130. It's vinyl. Ask Ricardo. Okay, I got 130, I believe, from Chris. Okay, do I have 135? I got 135. Do I hear 140? Do I hear 145? Who am I betting against? <laughs> Chris, do I hear 145? 145. Yes. I got 145. Do I hear 150? Do I hear 150? I got 145. It's going to go once. I got 150. I hear, do I hear 155? I got 150. 150 is going to go once. 150 is going to go twice. Sold. $150. This was donated by Robert Farr, so thank you. And this is a Maxi E-Engined V2. So let's start at 25. This is going to be 25 for it. Boy, it's a tough crowd. I got 25. Do I hear 30? I got 30 from Mr. Lewicki. Do I hear 35? Do I, hear th I got 35. Do I hear 40? Do I hear 40? I got 35 over here. Do I hear 40? I'm going to go 35 once. I'm going to go 35 twice. Sold. 35. <laughs>
<laughs> Somehow you get them all, huh? <laughs> make, sure, make sure you check in. Thirty-five. Let's see. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay, I've got my X-rated package here. X-rated? X-rated, as in X-15. This is a bundle. It is an X-15, the hypersonic book, which is probably one of the best books on the X-15. I've got another book here, a concise history of the X-15, hypersonics before the space shuttle. I've got X-15 from, uh, about from NASA, an article or a booklet. I've got rocket ship X-15. Ah, I've got the Edge of Space 3 DVD Collector's Edition on the X-15. On VHS, no less? No, this is DVD. It's cold fired though. And for those of you with all this information, you can build an exact scale model, small, but exact scale of the X-15. So I'm gonna start this off at, I'll start it off at 10. Who'll give you $10 for it? So two hands, do I hear 15? Yeah. I got 15, 20, I got 20 up front here. Do I hear 25? I got 25 from now. Anybody else? Let's go to 26. Anybody, from, I got 26 in the back. Do I hear 27? I got 27, do I hear 28? I got 30, do I hear 35? I got 35, do I hear 30, do I hear 40? No, you need to tell I got 40 from Joffrey. Do I hear 45? I got 40. I got 45 from one now. Do I hear 50? You're mean. So I got 50 from Joffrey. Okay, do I hear 55? I got 50. Do I have, uh, how about 51? Okay, every, dollar, every dollar counts. 51. 51. 51 and a half. I'll round that to 52. I got 51. Oh, I'll round it to 52. I got 55. Do I hear 56? I'm going to go 55. I'm going to go 55 once. 55 twice. <laughs> Let's go 55 to Joffrey. <laughs> I've been thinking about books. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got here. Nice collection. All right, let's do something a little bit off the wall. Let's see here who, who joins me in the being a technical Luddite. I have a series here of laser discs. Oh, I still have a laser disc player. So this is all. We go through the title. I got 2001 for it. The eagle has landed. This is archival video disc five from the uh, from the Air Space Museum. This is archival video disc six. This is a. This may actually be a. This is may actually be a record. Uh, from Apollo 11, and a series of video discs for To the Moon. Since they're kind of uncommon, I'll start the bidding low on this one. I'm going to start at $5. Five dollars. Anybody want to go to $10? I got $10. Fifteen. Fifteen. Are you here 20, Chris? Fifty. Do I hear anything higher than 15? Who has a laser disc player? There's the question. <laughs> <laughs> so, 15. I'm going to go 15 once. Jennifer 15. has a laser disc player. Yeah. 15 <laughs> twice. Sold. $15 on that. <laughs> I've already had my max weight for my luggage. Let's go ahead and let's do another box. All right, mystery box. Let's start at 30. Who wants to give me 30 for the mystery box? I got 30 for Mr. Lewicki. Do I hear 35? I got 35 in the bag, I got 35 up here. How about 40? Do I hear 40 from somebody here? I got 40 over here. Do I hear 45? I got 45 from Mr. Way. I got in the back. How about 50? Do I hear 50? I got 50 up front. I have two people. Do I hear 55? <coughs> you 55? I got 55. Do I hear 60? I got 55. 
I'm going to go once at 55. I got 60. I got 60. I'm going to go once at 60, twice at 60. Souls. Up. I'm going to go 60. I'm going to give you have another chance in a little bit. Yeah, there's more. $60. No shake. No shake. You shake your tall off? I got it. Okay. You start the next one at 60. Okay, got yeah, another Mercury and Gemini capsule, except this one's a little different deal. I've got a book, Gemini, Steps to the Moon by David Shaler, and I've got Project Mercury book from John Cashpole. So we're throwing in a couple books with the plastic model here. I can sign it. <laughs> uh, from the library of John Joseph. Oh, okay. And uh, this is from Amazon. He bought this fairly recently. So, let's start this at 10. Give me 10 for the model. I got 10 in the back. 15. Do I hear 20? Do I hear 20? I got 20 in the back. 25? 21. 25? I got 25. Do I hear 26? 26, anybody? I got 26 in the back. 27? 28. I got 30. Do I hear, let's go 32. Anybody? I hear 30, how about 31? Okay, I hear 30, I hear 30 once, twice, sold. Right. Mark Johnson. Thank you. How much? 30. 30. 35 was it, Mark? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Oh, Bonnie's not here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got three collectibles here. These are the Mike Dorfler altimeters. Uh, they are early vintage altimeters. They were designed and built by Mike Dorfler. I don't know that much. Who, who, I forget who donated them to me. Tim did. Tim did. Tim's not around. So I don't have any other detail on them than that. Hmm? And sell, okay. Which you can still get. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I got three of them. So I'm going to start these at 50. Do I have uh, anybody $50? Looking for three people. Okay, how about 40? 30. 20. Okay. They are you know, collector's items. Do they work? No idea. <laughs> Tim didn't say. You know what they powered? What the power? And sell, 1.5 volts. Okay, 20, how about 15? Because I'm looking for three. 15? Are they on the approved list? <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, no. Wrong question, Ned. You're supposed to be helping me. Okay, 10? Boy, this is a. I got two for 10. I'll take it. All right, $10? Okay. I got three people for $10. All right. Chris Taylor. Okay, if you guys want to just come on up and pick them up. They're sitting right up here on top of the bench. <laughs> are these, right, these contests uh, legal? A little bit more elaborate. <laughs> just going to matter the list by tomorrow, Bob. I have a Saturn 1B, 1 1 30th scale from Roachworks. That's not 1 30th in that box. One and one thirtieth. All right. I guess not. Carter's technology. Close enough for government work. So I understand these are, are, are detailed kits. I've never built one myself. It is a skill level four kit. It is designed for a single C motor. Let's start it at fifty. I've got two of them, so I'll run the bidding up and down until I get two people at one. Start the bidding at fifty dollars. I've got two people in the back. Was that also, Joffrey, you had your hand up? Sold for 50. Okay. Okay, he's still shrink wrapped here. I know nothing about the kit, except it's an import. This is a Canna Rock Starfleet Scorpion. So if somebody knows anything about the kit, please uh, please help me out here. 
Uh, it is a highly detailed and fantastically designed model of a Star Fleet Starfighter. The kit comes with two color decals, preformed plastic nose cone, wrap ons, and step by step instructions. They all say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it re it's recommended for a B62 and a C63. It is uh, 16 inches long and it is basically BT50. What's the manufacturer? Canna Rock. So I'll start at a 10. Give ten dollars for the kit. You got two? How about fifteen? Fifteen. Do I have twenty? I got twenty from one now. Do I hear twenty-five? Do I hear twenty-five? Twenty-five. Twenty-five from Bob. Okay. Go. Do you want to do twenty-six? I hear twenty-five. Anybody want to do twenty-six? It's from the seventies. Yep. Yeah, I'm from the fifties. That doesn't change. <laughs> so I'm gonna go twenty-five. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Thank you. Really, Bob? Is there something you don't have? Not anymore. This is the second one that you can build it. Yeah. It goes out as camera collection. Oh, let's just grab something that's an older kit. Titan. Titan 3E. So, let's go ahead. This kit been, been, hasn't been around for a while. About 25. I got 25. How about 30? I have $30 offered for the kit. I got 25. 26? 26? 30. I got 30 in the back there. 31? I got 30 from Linnell. I'm going to go th I'm going to go 30 once. I'm going to go 30. I got 31 or 30? I got 31. I got 32? 32. 33. <laughs> Yeah. Not, not me. <laughs> yeah. 35. 35. Jonathan, back to you. Okay. You're not supposed to say my name. Still <laughs> <laughs> find you. Rattled him out. 36. Come on, 40. Crush him. 40. Okay. Can I go here? 41. I got 40. Here, 41. Anybody? 41. That gentleman's gonna get it once. 45. 45. Okay. It's going to defer to the lady. I got it so we're going to go 45 once, twice, sold. Okay. This will be an interesting conversion. It is Jerry Anderson's Fireball XL5. Oh my God. And this is an exclusive, high-quality, limited-run kit. Features accurately scaled styrene fuselage, basically 14 inches long. Fine detail white metal undercarriage castings, injection molded tail, rock tail rockets, transparent canopies, canopies, authentic decals, and accurate plans. So let me see if I can do this without spilling the whole kit. It is a vacuum form. Okay, you've got the Fireball XL5 files included. What company is that? Is that models? This is Comet Miniatures. You have the exclusive and rare paint schemes, and you've got pieces and parts. So it is a vacuum form. So it's a it's not a stamped together model. So I'll open this up at, at 20. I got 20, I got 22 people. How about 25? 25. 25. Do I hear 30? I got 25. Do I hear 30? I got 30 in the back. Do I hear 35? 40. I got 40. Do I hear 45? I got 40. Do I hear 45? I got 40. It's going to go. How about 42? I got. 42. 42. That's my team number. Okay, 42. Do I hear 43? I got 42 for Tom. Do I hear 43? 44. 44. Do I hear a nice even 45? I got 44 for Linnell. Okay, I'm going to go once. I'm going to go twice. I got 45? I got, I got 45 in the back. Okay, do I hear 46? 46. Do I hear 46? I got 45. I'm going to go once on 45, twice on 45, sold 45. 
And I'll let you admire your acquisition. Oh, I have to put it back together. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do we take those? Okay, I'm going to do X Wing Fighters. I've got four of them. So I'm going to run the bidding around until I get four people that want to buy it. So let's go ahead and let's start at 20. X Wing Fighters. How many people want it for 20? I see three. 19. Okay, I got my four people for 19. Late, late. Okay, I got the four here. Come on up and grab a kid. Okay. Somebody's having a good summer. <laughs> we are shopping for multiple people. Huh? We are shopping for multiple. Ah. From the Art Rose Estate. I got six boxes here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, man. This is shoot wadding. You know what? That's box. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, <laughs> I'll put someone to work here. Just make sure we get what's in the rest of the boxes. I'm gonna go something else. So that waste time. <laughs> oh, this one's empty too. <laughs> okay. I may just put the whole thing up together. Then I've got a DVD video collection here. It is the two disc anniversary edition of Apollo 13, October Sky, The Right Stuff, 2001 Space Odyssey, H.G. Wells' First Men in, on the Moon, in the, I'm sorry, In the Moon, okay, and Ron Howard presents In the Shadow of the Moon. So I'll start there. You've got hours of listening and watching enjoyment for $10. I got 15. Do I hear 20? I got 20? Do I hear 25? I got 20. 25? I got 25 in the back. Do I hear 26? I got 26. Do I hear 27? Do I hear 27? I got 26. I got 26 going once. I got 26 going twice. Sold. No rockets, but everything else is up for grabs. Double check control. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. You guys redistributed it, so you still have six boxes. Hey, that's a Terry model. Box, They're so, okay, this is Brand X. Okay, reason it's Brand X is I work on Tomahawk. <laughs> so, this is Brand X. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to start the bidding on this for $5. This is okay. I got two people for five. How about uh, 10? 10. I got two people for 10. I'm going to. I'm sorry. This is the uh, Boeing cruise missile. Okay. 15. I got 15. Do I hear 16? Do I hear 16? I got 15. Do I hear 16? I got 15. I'm going to go once at 15, twice at 15, sold 15. Roy. It's up here on the desk. We don't know. We don't know. So am I supposed to open it up? I don't know. Ask. Am I supposed to open this up and tell people what it is? Or? Who's this? Uh, Keith. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, am I, do you want us to kind of open it up and tell people what it is? Just it's preserve, a the, bag. preserve the mystery box. Mystery box. Right. Mystery box. Yeah, patina. Preserve the treasure <laughs> bag. Yeah. Oh, Masta. Masta. And it has patina on it. <laughs> Good thing I'm not allergic to patina. Oh, it's patina written all over it. Okay, this is a Russian uh, Vashtak, and the scale on this is 124th scale. So, I'll start this off at $15. 20 for Mr. Hall. Do I hear 22? Do I hear 22? 21? I got 20. I'm going to go once at 20. Twice at 20. Sold 20. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to sell the whole thing off there. Oh, we'll put the, who made the bid on this one? Oh, someone said 20. Right, I'm going to restart it on this one. So I might, obviously, if I heard it there. 15? 15. Okay, no, I know Joffrey's not going to bid because it's a kit. Okay, how about 14? I got 14. Okay, nobody 15. I'm going to go 14 once. I'm going to go twice. Sold 14. Hey, starter set, space shuttle. My first kit. It really flies. <laughs> it really flies. It actually flies pretty good. Just don't build uh, a rubber One thing space. is, if you're traveling on an airplane, this has rocket motors in there. <laughs> Probably not a good thing for TSA. They'll never know. So I'm going to start this it. at 20 Anybody want a space shuttle starter set, $20. You get a launch pad, motors. I mean, this is the whole deal. So you can get started in rocketry. I got 20 in the back. Okay. Yep. Do I hear 21? Do I hear 21? I got 20. Do I hear 21? I'm going to go once, twice, sold for 20 It's actually nice kit. Quite good. Minecraft. Tell Jennifer name, hmm. name rank, serial number. Did you forget what? the wingtip tab? Jennifer. You know, I Oh, that's different. Oh, that's this is boss wood cardboard and plastic. Oh, okay. I do have that in the bag. Phone's got to be balanced right, but it flies good. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with a super big Bertha. Still shrink wrapped. And they originally sold at Earl's for $35. So I'll start at a bargain price here $20. So I have an offer at 20 for this kit. I got 20. Do I hear 21? I hear 21. I got 20. I'm going to go once. I'm going to go twice. Sold for 20. Oh, let's get something interesting. Pershing. All right, I hear Pershing, we'll do Pershing. Nobody wants Pershing. And we have one of the uh, Estes Maxi Pershing. It's over three feet tall. They're all there. Looks pretty good. Oh. Like they've hey, seen the other days. Oh, it's not funneling in. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got other parts in here for it. So for a first look, I'd say it's complete. So we'll go ahead and get started. Let's start this at 25. I got 30. Well, I know you'd be interested in this. You used to shoot them. I got 50. Do I hear 55? Do I hear 55? I got 50. I got 55. Do I hear 60? 70. I have 70. Do I hear 75? 77. 77. 77. Do I hear 80? Do I hear 80? I got 77. Do I hear 80? I'm going to go 77 once. I'm going to go 77 twice. Sold 77. Oh, really? It's a nice model. <laughs> YOLO, just get it. I'll take her on the hall. Okay. Hmm? I'll take her on the hall. What? We're going to do Centauri Apollo Little Joe 2. Okay, I understand this is kind of a rare kit. Uh, truth in marketing. And without Ed's help, I shoot the marketing here. Uh, I'm not sure. I've heard it both ways that these were pre wrapped and that they weren't pre wrapped. As you can see, the wrap has shrunk on this. Uh, the tube probably will circularize with no trouble. And it's wrinkled. I understand there are ways to dissolve the adhesive on the wrap and re wrap it. Okay. I don't know. I've never tried any of that myself. So. Looks like the rest of the kit is here. I'm going to go ahead and start the bid because it has some damage on it at $30.
Get her roll. Do I have an offer thirty dollars for it? I have thirty. Do I hear thirty-five? I've got thirty-five. Do I hear forty? I got forty. Do I hear forty-five? I got forty-five. Do I hear fifty? I got fifty. Do I hear six? Fifty-five? Sixty? Sixty. Do I hear sixty-five? I got sixty-five. Do I hear seventy? I got sixty-five. Seventy. I got seventy. Do I hear seventy-five? I got 70. How about 71? I got 70. It's going to I got 71. I hear 72? 75. 75. Do I have 80? Do I have 80? I'm going to go 75. I'm going to go 75 once. I'm going to go 75 twice. Soldier Phil. You realize you're not getting back from Pennsylvania. Oh, I, I, I'm at Steve's mercy now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's do some lightweight stuff. Lightweight. Lightweight. <laughs> do another book collection here. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about the hobby of model rocketry, I got basics of model rocketry by Mr. Pratt. This is actually all the second edition, but I've also got the original edition. I've got Model Rocket Design and Construction by Mr. Van Milligan. I've got Second Stage Advanced Model Rocketry, uh, Michael Banks, Tim Van Milligan. And I've got Second Stage Advanced Model Rocketry by Michael Banks. So I'm gonna start this off at 10 for the book collection. I got 10 from Chris. Do I hear 15? I got 15. Do I hear 20? I got 15. Do I hear 20? How about 16? Do I hear 16? I got 16 from Chris. Do I hear 17? Do I hear, do I hear 17 from anybody? I got 16. I'm going to go 16 once, twice, sold. <laughs> 